Hi, 3B. This is a book called Drum Dream Girl. How One Girl's Courage Changed Music, written by Margarita Engel. Before we read, I'm going to tell you the story of this book. So in the back is written a historical note. It says, this poem, so this is a freestyle poem, was inspired by the childhood of a Chinese African Cuban girl who broke Cuba's traditional taboo. A taboo is like a, um, uh oh, that's not okay, against female drummers. In 1932, at the age of 10, Milo Castri Castro performed with her older sisters as an Acona. Cuba's first all-girl dance band. Milo became a world-famous musician, playing alongside all the American jazz greats of the era. At age 15, she played her bongo drums at a New York birthday celebration for U.S. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, where she, she was enthusiastically cheered by First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. There are now many female drummers in Cuba, Thanks to Milo's courage, becoming a drummer is no longer unattainable, an unattainable dream for girls on the island. So this is a story about a little girl who really, really wanted to play music. But when she was little, they didn't allow girls to play the drums. I love the art in this story. So check out the back cover too. This is her dreaming on top of a drum. Okay. Drum dream girl. In Cuba is an island, a big, big island. On an island of music, in a city of drum beats, the drum girl dreamed. When we read this, I want you to listen to the words the author uses to describe sounds. So let's listen for the words the author uses to describe the sounds. Of pounding tall conga drums, tapping small bongo drums, and boom, boom, booming with long, loud sticks on a big, round, civil, silvery, moon-bright timbales. But everyone on the island of music in the city of drum beats believed that only boys should play drums. Aww. Okay, look at this. So these boys are having such a good time and she's getting in trouble. All she wants to do is play the drums. So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming. Quiet, secret, drum beat dreams. Okay, I love this picture. She's dreaming of herself playing the drums in the sea. How fun. At outdoor cafes that look like gardens, she heard drums played by men. But she closed her eyes and she could hear her own imaginary music. So here she is, closing her eyes. She's listening to these men play, but she's dreaming of herself doing the same, playing for people at the cafe. I wrote a little question here. It says, why might they tell her that only men and boys can play the drums? What do you think? I don't know. Why would only men and boys be able to play the drums? It doesn't make sense to me. On this page, the author uses a lot of sound words. So I want you to be listening to them. When she walked under the wind wavy palm trees in a flower bright park, 
She heard the whir of parrot wings, the clack of woodpecker beaks, the dancing tap of her own footsteps, and the comforting pat of her own heartbeat. So this little girl, she really, really in tune with all the sounds of the world around her. At carnivals, she listened to the rattling beat of towering dancers on stilts. Ooh, I like how this page, they put the, 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 the dancers on stilts like on the, the page like this, it's so cool. In the dragon clang of costumes drummer wearing huge masks. Wow. I would like to go to Cuba. At home, her fingertips rolled out their own dreamy drum rhythm on tables and chairs. This girl is so, so creative. Why, why do you think everybody's like keeping her from playing the drums just because she's a girl? This doesn't make sense to me. And even though everyone kept reminding that her, that girls on the island of music had never played drums. Look, why do you think the illustrator put her looking at the drums in like a little cage, like where you would keep a bird from escaping? Hmm, I wonder what this symbolizes. Her hands seemed to fly as they rippled, wrapped, and pounded the rhythms of her drum dreams. How would you describe the drum dream girl? Do you like her? I do. And why? I like her because she's like not giving up on the thing that she loves. Her big sisters were so excited that they invited her to join their new all girl, all girl dance band. Check it out. Look how happy they are. Look, they have like the trumpet, the saxophone. Look at her on the drums. Finally, they have the bass, they have like a guitar. but their father said only boys should play drums. Don't you think he should want the best for them? I do. So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming and drumming alone. I like her because she doesn't give up. Look at that fish. <laughs> she has an audience of one. Until finally, her father offered to find a music teacher. There he goes. Who could decide if her drums deserved to be heard. Of course she deserves to be heard. The drum dream girl's teacher was amazed. The girl knew so much, but he taught her more and more and more. And she practiced and she practiced and she practiced. So there's her teacher. And finally, she's not all alone. She has somebody to help her. And not only does he help her, but she helps herself. She practices and practices and practices because this is her dream. Until the teacher agreed that she was ready to play her, her own her small bongo drums outdoors at a starlit cafe that looked like a garden. Look, now she has a real audience. A teacher believes in her. Where everyone who heard her dream bright music sang and danced and decided that girls should always be allowed to play drums in both girls and boys should feel free to dream.
There's a, some people dancing to her drum. And here's the part in the back that I read about the real dream drum dream girl that inspired this story in Cuba. So this was in 1932. So less than a hundred years ago, there was like a little girl that this was her story. She really wanted to play the drums and not even her dad in the beginning believed in her. Imagine that. Imagine you wanted to do something and your dad told you no because you were a boy or a girl. That would be really hard. I really enjoyed this story. I hope you did too. What were some of the sound words you remember from that story? Write them down and tell me. Okay, 3B, thanks for listening to the read aloud. I'll hear from you soon. Bye.